do not think ill of us. Is there no other way? Are you still thinking like that? You'll die if you fight me with any doubt left in your heart. If you want the pact with Origin, then you must defeat me. So, that's your way. Everyone, leave this to me. You're going to fight alone? Lloyd won't lose. Lloyd bears the weight of all the lives that you and Crucius sacrificed. Get ready! I'm not gonna hold back this time. I know. I won't either. Double Demon Fang! Fierce Demon Fang! Fierce Demon Fang! Hunting Beast! Brave! Beast. There! Double demon fang! No way! Hunting beast! Lightning blade! Hunting beast! Lightning blade! Hunting beast! There! No way! Fierce demon fang! Take! Hunting beast! Lightning no way. blade! Hunting beast! Double Demon Fang! Brave! Lightning Blade! Super Lightning Blade! Lightning Blade! Demon Speed! Lightning Blade! Lightning Blade! Lightning Blade! Thunder Blade! Demon Fang! Demon Fang! Demon Fang! Brave! Demon Pretty good! Fierce Demon! Super Lightning Blade! Lightning Blade! Fierce Demon! Super Lightning Blade! Fierce Demon Fang! strong thanks to you aren't you going to finish me I've defeated Kratos the angel the one who betrayed us and I forgive Kratos the hero of the ancient war who helped us that's all <laughs> I thought I'd finally earned the right to die. But you're as soft-hearted as ever. Hold on. You can't be... Are you going to break the seal? 
That is what you desire, is it not? But then you'll... Kratos! Don't worry, he's alive. I gave him some of my mana. Dad! Kratos! Are you really okay? Looks like I failed to die once more. You stupid jerk! You can die any time! But when you die, that's the end! You want him to live in eternal damnation? Who said anything like that? What will you accomplish by dying? Nothing! There is no meaning in dying! You're right. To think I had to have my son teach me such an obvious lesson. Kratos! Kratos will be fine. Form the pact with Origin. You who lack the right. I have lost faith in all things. Have you come here to disappoint me as well? Origin, are you bound by a pact to Mythos? My pact with Mythos was broken the moment I was freed. Never again shall anyone make use of my power. Even if we make a vow, we need the Eternal Sword. I want to use the Eternal Sword to reunite the two worlds. And revive the giant Carlon tree. Unless we do something, the worlds will never stop vying for mana, and everyone will suffer. That situation was born from the weakness of creatures who are unable to accept those that are different. That may be true, but mistakes can be corrected. Some things cannot be corrected. Even so, we have to do everything we can. Exactly. I'm not gonna give up. From the moment they are born, everyone has the right to live. I want to reclaim that. Humans, elves, half-elves, dwarves, and even summon spirits. Everyone has a right to life. Origin. For almost an eternity, I thought that the only way to save this world was to cling to Mythos's ideals. Just as you once agreed with Mythos's ideals, I too thought his was the only way. But Lloyd is different. He taught me that in order to change something, you must do it yourself. It is not enough to merely rely on someone else and go along with their ideals. You who possess the right of summoning, make your vow. Origin, then... I will try once more to believe in people. I shall do my duty in order to create a world you speak of. A world in which everyone can live equally. I, Sheena, have but one vow. To reclaim a world in which everyone can live freely. A world in which no life is sacrificed meaninglessly. That's all. Then we shall create a pact upon that vow. Now fight!
Get ready. Transform the Eternal Sword into a blade to save all life. However, the Eternal Sword remains, as by Mythos' pact, unusable by those who lack the blood of Elves. You must master the sword by your own power, and forge a new bond with it. There's no time. 
I'll take your body. No! No, it's Mythos. He survived in the Crucius Crystal. Lloyd's body will be taken over unless we do something. journey together when the world is reunited. Let her go! <laughs> what do I care? I'm leaving this filthy world behind. off the route to Darius Carlon. Damn! We'll evacuate the elves for now. The entire village will be destroyed unless we do something.
is that? That is Daris Carlo. Impossible. How could a planet exist so close? It is the eternal sword that makes the impossible possible. It was hidden by the protective barrier projected from the Tower of Salvation. But it has always existed there for 4,000 years. Yes. And now Mithos, with the great seed in hand, is trying to leave this land and take Daris Karlon with him. Tabitha! You're feeling better? Yes. Wait a minute. Dearest Carlon is a mass of mana. And the great seed is the seed of the giant tree, right? If he takes both of them, what's gonna happen to this world? It will wither and die from mana deprivation. This is a much bigger problem than reuniting the world. What the hell are you guys talking about? Our friend just got kidnapped. What are we gonna do, Lloyd? What else? We're going after Mythos. But the Tower of Salvation was destroyed. Use the Eternal Sword. If you really made a pact with Origin, the sword will surely respond to you. With its power over time and space. But Altessa is not well enough to move. Who's going to craft the Ring of the Pact? Dad. Dirk? Yeah, he's our only hope. We'll go to Silverant. Wait. I'm going with you. All right. Forge the Ring of the Pact. A dwarf who's losing his skills by living on the surface? There's no one else. The dwarf that has the skills is unable to move. Dad, please. I've gathered all of the necessary items. This is adamantite for polishing. Hmm. What's this piece of wood? Is this sacred wood? This must fuel the fire. 
Is that why you were traveling all over Tetheala? To prepare all of this? <sighs> I see. So everything is set. I can't very well refuse after you've gone through so much trouble now, can I? And I suppose it won't hurt me to help out my dearest son. After all, I'm his father too. Dwarven vow number one. Work together for the sake of a peaceful world. All right, let's do it. With this, I'll be able to use the Eternal Sword, right? Dad! Kratos! What's wrong? Lloyd, you've really grown stronger. I never expected you to be able to inflict such a serious wound on my angelic form. Take this, and stop Mythos. I don't think I'll be able to help you anymore. Okay. That's a marvelous blade. I doubt you have a sword in your possession to match it. Really? Take this with you. It's a present I promised you. Now that you've grown all up, I can entrust you with the greatest sword I ever forged. Wow. I'll become even stronger with these two swords. Thanks, Dad. And... Kratos. I'm sorry I forced everything upon you. I have great dads. One made a ring for his son using the lost arts. And another risked his life to protect his son in secrecy. Yeah, you've got great parents. Yeah, well, I'm off. Dad. Everyone, let's go.
50% output should be sufficient. Ready? Acuteness! Healing <laughs> 
What the? Oh no, it's a trap! Lloyd, help us! <gasps> Forget about us. Find a way to evade this trap. <gasps> Don't worry about me. Just take care of Mythos. <gasps> I see. So this is the... Lloyd! Get the Daris emblem! With it you can... <gasps> this device is not life-threatening. Please... Don't worry. <laughs> Lloyd, as long as you're all right, we still haven't lost. You must get to the Great Seed. <laughs> Guys! Damn! What the hell is going on? What happened to everyone? Everything is all right. I can feel the presence of your companions. They are somewhere in this city. All right. Let's go find them. Get out of my body! Colette! Ugh. She's too strong. I can't... Mythos! Get away from her! How dare you, human! You son of Kratos! How dare you give me orders! Oh, what's going on? Martell! How could you? Human, your kind must not be allowed to live! How far are you willing to go to take control of the manor? I'll never forgive you. You humans are all the same! What's going on? Mythos! Ewan! Dad! Lloyd, we're inside Mythos' memory. Don't let it get to you! Why do you interfere? We both want the same thing! I just wanted to save the world and my sister! To have a world where no one will be persecuted! Colette! Are you okay? Lloyd! Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you for rescuing me. I knew you'd come. We made a promise, didn't we? That we'd go on a journey together. Yeah. Looks like the crystal won't come off. Yeah. But I think it's okay. The feeling of something eating through my mind is gone now. Wait, where's everybody else? They got caught in a trap, and we all wound up separated. Oh no! We have to find them! Yeah, let's go.
What the? Why is the mayor? Be careful. It's an illusion. You think I'm an illusion? This is exactly why everyone says half-elves are fools. Rain, my pitiful child. A tainted child who received only half her elven blood. M mother Half elves have no place in this world. That's not true! It is because you are despicable halflings that I was chased out of Heimdall. Then why did you give birth to us? There probably was no choice. That's why you were thrown away after you were born. Disappear from this world. Die! There is no meaning for you to live. Disappear. Die! Now! Humans and elves. Neither side wants us. That's right. No one wants you. I didn't choose to be born like this, yet... It can't be helped. It's your fault for not being a pureblood. No, you're wrong! No, they are not wrong. Half-elves are despised and discriminated against for merely being alive. Our existence is a crime. No, it's not the half-elves' fault! But... We... People who can't accept those who are different are the ones to blame. It's because of their weak hearts. Hey, you two. I came to get you. Lloyd. Now let's go. It's hopeless, Rain. You'll just be abandoned again. As long as you're a half-elf, the world will continue to hate you. Lloyd came for us, even though he could have left us behind and face Mythos. You'll just be betrayed again, because you're a half-elf. You may be right, but then again, you may be wrong. It wasn't because of my blood that you abandoned me. It was because of the world that hates my blood, and a mother who was too weak to stand up against it. I'm going to stop hating that weakness. My hatred never changed anything. In order to change the world, I must first change myself. I'm glad I was born a half-elf. It was because of it that I met Lloyd and my other dear friends. Genus, do you feel the same? Are you happy that you were born a half-elf? That's ridiculous! There's no world for half-elves! Because humans hate us, I hate humans. Genus! I like you, Lloyd. And I like everyone we traveled with. Because I think they all like me. You're an idiot. You're deluding yourself. I'm the same. Just like those that hate half-elves, I get mad at humans and elves just for being who they are. That's just going to make them hate me more. My heart was weak, too. Is it a sin to be weak-hearted? Not everyone's strong. Not everyone can stand being despised. Hey, you two. Lloyd! Thanks for coming! I'm sorry. I promise to make up for all the trouble we've caused. Don't worry about it. We're friends, right? Hey, what's this thing that just came floating down? They're fragments of the mirror. Maybe they're symbols of the weakness of our hearts. You should hang on to it. It's proof that you guys beat that weird mirror. Okay. Yes, it's a good idea.
the heck is this funky place? Hang on a sec. Do you hear a strange sound? A strange sound? We'll be sucked into the magic circle! Oh, crap. Let's get the hell out of here. Ow! What is this thing? What's that thing down there? What's the matter? You'll be caught unless you hurry up and run. Such a pathetic sight, Zelos. What? Why is Kuchinawa... It's gotta be an illusion. There's no way those two would be here. You're so stupid. You've shut your eyes to reality for so long that you can't even tell what's real anymore. You grew up in Mizuho, yet you still can't tell if I'm real or an illusion? You really are a failure. It's so sad. How did someone so unworthy become the Chosen? It's no wonder he betrayed his friends. Neither of you should have been born. Everyone would have been so much happier had you not been born. You brought misfortune upon the people of Mizuho. I, I haven't brought misfortune to... Can you really say you didn't? You, the coward who trembled before Vault and killed your comrades? One betrayed his friends and then came back shamelessly, and the other killed the people of her village. A fitting end. Now if you think you can run, run! You'll be devoured by the darkness and die. Damn it, we're gonna be eaten by that monster unless we do something! You gotta be kidding! Would you like me to save you, Zelos? Beg for our forgiveness. And pledge loyalty to Crucius. That monster will bestow eternal suffering upon you. If it devours you, you will neither live nor die. You will be trapped in true darkness, tormented in isolation forever. Forever? I can save you. Join us and defeat Lloyd. Then it will all be over. Lord Mythos has agreed to let the people of Mizuho live. And he'll remove the title and duties of the Chosen from you, and transfer everything to me. Celeste will gain the power of the Chosen. Yes! What I've wanted more than anything else. The power of the Chosen. You'll let me have it, won't you? Just imagine. Your life will finally have meaning and value. All you have to do is pledge your allegiance to me. As soon as you do that, you will be saved from the Shadow's grasp. The people of Mizuho! Celeste will become the Chosen. Listen to me, both of you! I've come for you guys! I'm right down below! Whoa, whoa, whoa! The only thing down there is that monster! Lloyd! Don't tell me you were eaten by that monster! That Lloyd is the real illusion. The monster is mimicking his voice to lure you. I'm not an illusion! Do you think it's better for the people of Mizuho to become part of the Age of Lifeless Beings? Do you think it's okay for Celis to become the next Chosen who could be sacrificed at any time? I... But... Both of you have to decide for yourselves, but I have faith in you. I know you won't run away, even if what we're trying to do is difficult. Don't forget, your lives have value just by being alive and being there. Just by being alive, my life has value? A traitor like me has value? Of course not. No life has any value just by being alive. Shut up. There's a significance in being born. But if that's not good enough for you, I'll give them another value. They're both valuable because they're my friends. Eh, that's a pretty pathetic value. But I suppose it'll do. You reject my offer? You know what I wish for, yet you still interfere? 
Sorry, but I got no choice. The guy who decided my value believes in me and tells me not to run away. I trust you, Lloyd. I, the sort of valuable Zelos, am headed your way. <sighs> Looks like you beat me to it. Are you running away again? I'll raise the entire village of Mizuho. I am not running. The people of Mizuho are waiting for us to reunite the worlds. Betraying that trust would truly be running away. Damnation or salvation? I guess there's only one way to find out. Welcome back, you two. It's not like I can really run away from the fact that I was born. Exactly. Especially since we now have our newfound pathetic value and all. I'm gonna try and face my challenges head on. Yeah, running won't solve anything. What possible value does one burden to exist with cursed blood have? Sometimes running's the only way to save yourself. Humans are... so arrogant. What is that? A spider figurine. But it's broken in half. It's kind of creepy. Maybe it's an admonition to not run away. <laughs> I guess that's one way to look at it. Maybe it is. I'm gonna hang on to it as a reminder. This is gonna be a piece of cake. Undeep <laughs> the Okay. Here we go. What? referring to the species. Save you guys. I 
I thought I just saw Lloyd. Yes, he disappeared. What could... A trap? Even if it is, remaining here indefinitely... Would not be particularly meaningful. Let us search for Lloyd. I'm so glad you two are safe. Alicia... Impossible. Please wait. I'll take you to Lloyd. It's an illusion. Alicia is... dead. Yes. She was murdered. Yes. And what am I, Prisea? Even though I'm right here, breathing, my very own sister insists that I'm dead? I... It's true that I was murdered by Regal. But here I am, alive, in front of you. Isn't that enough? It's only an illusion. Be gone! <laughs> Prisea! We... don't know for certain it's an illusion. Prisea, you believe me, don't you? Thank you. You... Stop. If you don't stop. Regal, I can't believe you tried to kill me. I can't believe it. Silence, Phantom! Prisea, move! If you want to kill Alicia, you must face me first. Prepare yourself. Stop it! Both of you! Lloyd's voice. Is this an illusion as well? But... there's blood. I feel an evil presence from that blood. Be careful, Prisea. What's going on? What is real? It doesn't matter! Just settle down! Why are you fighting each other? You're supposed to be friends! Lloyd... You... aren't an illusion? Why did you stop attacking? You hate the one who murdered me, don't you? But... And Regal... Why won't you just let yourself be killed? You've always felt guilty about killing me. Uh. Here's your chance to end it all. Yes, it's for the best. If you are killed, you will no longer feel guilt. If you kill him, you will have your revenge. Crimes must be punished. Both of you! Get a hold of yourselves! Don't confuse who you should be fighting! Dying won't settle anything! Killing won't solve anything! That is merely logic. People are not moved by logic. If the one you love is killed, you hate the murderer. And murderers must be punished. But if you keep killing people like that, it'll only spawn new hate and new revenge! Besides, you're just running away if you die. You'll forget the murder and the pain of that crime. Spawn new hate. Running away from my crime. What about my feelings? You murdered me! It is true that Alicia died. But I know she doesn't want things to end like this. What you're both doing is selfish. You're... the real Lloyd. And that Alicia is a fake. Alicia wouldn't say things like that. Are you... going to kill me? Stop deceiving my friends! I came to get you guys. I'm sorry. I... lost the will to atone for my crimes by taking comfort in the feeling of being punished. 
death is not punishment. Punishment is living with one's crime and working to atone for it. I closed off my heart and turned away from people who were trying to atone for their crimes because it was easier to hate than to forgive. There are so many things you can do before you die. And I don't think everything has to be forgiven. But no matter how painful things may be, you just can't dwell on the past. Yes. I will stop allowing myself to be trapped in the past. One cannot seek a new world while dragging the past along. And thus you forget the past. The countless lives that were lost. And the pain of those that suffered. Crimes must be met with punishment. What's that? A knife. There are nicks all over the blade. Maybe it's a symbol of your past. Let us think of it that way. Yes, so that we may never fight amongst ourselves again. This is going to be a piece of cake. this this is this is the Darius emblem Darius emblem it's a seal that blocks the path to Mythos's castle although I didn't know where it was then with this the trap should be deactivated let's keep going okay let's go
look at this big guy. Are you okay? I can't call it pancake time. It's a lag mic. Here. Ready? Mythos is just ahead. And the Great Sea should be there too. This is it, everyone. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm prepared to accept whatever happens in the coming battle. And we will win. Yeah, we're gonna win. For Mizuho, Corinne, and for all of you who believed in a coward like me. And for myself too. I don't want anyone else to make the same mistake I did. No one should have to think that he has to sacrifice his own life. Everyone should be able to live freely, no matter who they are. Humans and elves, and even us. It's okay for us to be here, in this world. Yes. That's why we must recover the great seed from Mythos, and revive the giant tree. Without it, not only will we be unable to restore peace between the different races, the world itself will die. We can't let that happen. We must reunite the worlds. Afterwards, we shall make a new promise to the new world. The people that I like and the people that I don't, both have the right to live in the same world as I do. Because that's the way things should be. Count me in. I won't run from this one. All right, let's go. We're going to restore a world where everyone can live freely. Home. I'm going home. Mythos, listen to me. We don't have to fight. Please return the Great Seed to us so that we can reunite the worlds. Home. I'm going home. Something's wrong. He sounds like a puppet. W what? I need to thank you for going through all the trouble to bring me back here. I'm finally myself again. Damn. So that's what this was all about. Mythos, Martel is already dead. That's not true. Martel is alive. Just as I lived on in the Crucius Crystal. That's not living. 
That's just existing as a lifeless being. What's wrong with that? What? After all, in our bodies flow the bloods of humans and elves, the bloods of those that despise us. We're better off casting aside such filth and become lifeless beings. That's what you really want? Of course. Watch. When you become a lifeless being, you can even control your appearance and growth. Everyone should become lifeless beings. I told you before, the only way to eliminate discrimination is for everyone to become the same race. What you hope for is nothing but a dream, Mythos. Discrimination comes from the heart. He's right, Mythos. It's the weakness of people's hearts that causes discrimination looking down upon others while placing themselves too high. You do the same thing. You look down on humans and elves, treating them like cattle. That's the weakness of your heart. Even if people become lifeless beings, nothing will change. Discrimination will continue. Then where should the half-elves go? We aren't accepted anywhere. We opened our hearts, but no one took us in. Where should we live? You can live anywhere you like. Don't make me laugh. I'm serious. Anywhere is fine. If you aren't doing anything wrong, you should just live proudly in the open. It's because we couldn't do that. That I... that we wanted a place of our own. Uh-uh. Sorry, but don't act like you're the only victim here. It doesn't even come close to justifying all the things that you've done. What you've done caused meaningless suffering and death to countless people. Can you feel their pain? People can change, even if they don't change right away. Months, years... As time passes, change is inevitable. Maybe not everything can be forgiven, but one can try to atone for one's sins. Can't you feel it in your heart? The goddess known as conscience. Do you think I'm gonna beg for forgiveness? Ridiculous! There is no goddess, so I will continue to pursue my ideals. If there is no place where I can live, and if I've been denied my age of lifeless beings, then the only thing left for me is to build a new world on Daris Carlon. A world just for my sister and me. There's nothing anyone can do. Disappear! Ray! Disappear. Are you okay? Hunting beast. 
disappear! Get help is on the way! Nurse! Disappear! Pretty 
good. Thank <laughs> you. 
Mythos is... It's just like Alicia. Mythos will continue to live as long as the Crucius Crystal exists. And eventually, I will be taken over by the Crystal. Mythos... I'm tired of playing your game of good and evil. Hurry up and destroy the Crystal. If you don't, Darius Carlon will continue to drift away. Mythos! Do it now. Before I... too... am no longer myself. Lloyd! Please! Help him! Let him die while he's still himself! Alright. Farewell, my shadow. You who stand at the end of the path I chose not to follow. I wanted my own world, so I don't regret my choice. I would make the same choice all over again. I will continue to choose this path. You could have lived with us in our world. Damn it.
The old master of the pact is no more. What does the new master of the pact ask of this sword? Restore the true form of our two worlds! Are we back? What's going on? doing your wish is granted but there is no link without a link the land will die what do you mean the world was originally separated into two in order to prevent its destruction if it returns to its true form, the world lacks the mana to support itself. The land is dying. I don't need to know why it's dying. What do we need to do to stop it? Support the two worlds by linking them with a the giant tree. That is the only way to stop the destruction of the land. We need to awaken the giant Carlin tree. I get it. Lloyd, hurry! You have to shine the mana of Daris Carlon on the Great Seed before Daris Carlon is too far away. All right, then. I'm counting on you, Eternal Sword. Daris Carlon is already at the edge of the gravitational field. Not even Yggdrasil. Mythos could stop this from happening. Do you still intend to try? Yeah. Even strengthened by your Exphere, it is likely that your body will not withstand the forces. Are you certain of your decision? I said I'm doing it, so I'm doing it. It's not like we have a choice. Very well. It's not working. The man is being deflected. The great seed is already dead. Wait, don't go! Please, wake up!
looks like Darius Carlon stopped moving away. Yeah, but why? The Eternal Sword is gone. The Eternal Sword! Thank goodness! This is my final wish. Eternal Sword. Please, awaken the Great Seed! I beg you. Please, wake up! Please! Rise, giant Carlon tree! Martell, and also the incarnation of the Great Seed itself. Lloyd, your hope, as well as those of many others, resurrected me. So you're Mythos' sister? No, Mythos' sister Martell is only one of the many souls within me. I am Mana, and I am the giant tree. I am the symbol of the many lives sacrificed to the Great Seed. I am a new spirit born to accompany the giant tree. And now the seed has awakened anew along with me. form of the giant tree, but right now, it is only a small seedling. In its current state, the tree will wither and die. Well then, how do we protect it? You must provide the tree with love and adoration. As long as those conditions are met, I shall always protect the seedling. I promise, if the tree ever starts to wither, I'll make sure we won't let it die. Then Lloyd, on behalf of all living things, I want you to give this tree a new name, as a proof of the pact. What? The giant Carlon tree was planted here by the elves when they first came, as a guardian to watch over and protect them. This newly reborn tree protects elves, humans, and the lives of all those who are caught in between. Therefore, this tree requires a new name. Lloyd, pick a name for us. A name for everyone's tree. So this tree is the link that connects the world. Okay, I got it. This tree 
Grandmother, I'm home. Oh, chosen one. No, Grandmother, I'm not a chosen anymore. Oh, yes. Colette, you have made us all proud. Welcome home, Colette. It's good to be home, Father. I see. So, Kratos will travel with Deris Carlon wherever it may go. What are you going to do? Go back to Isalia? No. We're going out to visit new lands. We're going around the world to try and make it easier for half-elves to be accepted. It sounds like you have a difficult journey ahead of you. We can return to Isalia when we're tired. We will always have a home there. Hi, everyone. I'm back. Sheena. I'm so glad you're safe. Congratulations, Sheena. Ed, don't congratulate me yet. A whole new world lies before us now. We have to inform everyone about the revival of the Igaguri style. Yes, and for when Kuchinawa returns as well. Yeah! Come on, everyone. Let's work as hard as we can. We're gonna make the village of Mizuho into a ninja clan to be proud of. See? Look what happened. It's all because the Pope opened up his big mouth and tried to banish me and stuff. The whole world got messed up. Well then, Chosen One, what would you have me do? We'll send an emissary of peace to Isalia. Emissary? Who do you plan to send? How about Sheena from Mizuho? She's already involved. So the emissary of death becomes the emissary of peace. I won't let you say that. Until you do something about the Church of Martell, I still have the rights of the Chosen, remember? Alicia, I'm finally myself again. Time is finally starting to flow again from that night 16 years ago. You know what? I'm 28 years old now. Can you believe that? Were you... talking with Alicia? Yes. I just got back from overseeing the destruction of part of the mine. Now that that's done, we can rest assured that no new X-spheres will be excavated. That's good to hear. What are your plans now? I'm going to devote the full resources of my company to revitalization projects. New and better world. I'll help too. I'm sure Alicia and Daddy would have wanted me to. Are you really going to Darius Carlon? If a half-elf of Crucius remains here, the other half-elves will have no place to live. As a surviving member of Crucius, I must bear the responsibility for what has happened. I'm going to collect all the X-Spheres remaining in this land. And I will discard all of Crucius's X-Spheres into space. I've dragged you into this until the very end. It's okay. It's time for me to go. Please use that sword to send us to Darius Carlon. Bye, Dad. Don't die before I do, Lloyd. My son. Mom, Dad left. That was okay, wasn't it? For me to let him go? It was okay, right? Lloyd, you wanted to go with him, didn't you? No. I have my own path to follow. And Dad has his. And besides, I have a dad here already. They see. Then I won't say any more. Mom, I'll leave Dad's sword here beside you. Well? I'm off. <laughs>